Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is unboxing day. I just got my new classic accessory uh, Cumberland model float tube in and I'm gonna open this thing up and see what it's about. It's been a while since I've actually had a float tube. The last float tube I had was one of the sit-in round types. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to have this one here because it's you know higher up off the water. It's got a nice comfortable seat. Uh, a lot of storage and things hopefully. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's check this thing out. It's really important whenever you are opening up a uh, uh, an object that you're hoping to float in for a while you got to use a really sharp knife to do so so if you are doing that just be careful all right so I want to look at the box here this is the one that, that I'm looking at it was pretty cool. I found it on Amazon. I got it for like, a, I think it was like $180 or something. Uh, you know, shipped. All right, first things first, in case that knife got it. A nice little patch kit. A certificate of origin, basically telling me where this thing is made. All right. So this is going to be my uh, lap apron, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? It's got some nice uh, markings on it here, inches, centimeters, goes up to 18 inches. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be big enough. I might have to double this thing or something. Uh, we'll see. So anyway, there's that. All right, PVC, I imagine that's going to hold that on and give it some rigidity. Important. It's been in carefully inspected. All right. Ooh, nicely wrapped. Coupling. I imagine that holds those two pieces together. All right. So let's check this out. Let's see what this thing is about. All right. So. The first thing that I'm noticing is uh, it's it's nice and compact. I mean, look at that. You know, that would go nicely into the trunk of a car or something. Nice and flat, put things on top of it. All right, so that's the seat. Let's remember how that was folded up. Folded like that. These are folded under. That was folded like that. There we go. That's how it was. Important things. They always pack them better than I can pack them. All right. Cool. There we go. Got some nice. This is nice, thick, heavy material on the bottom. All right. Well, let's get this thing aired up. That way we can see it for all its glory. So, one of the easiest ways that I've found of airing up any of my, uh, I've got a couple inflatable kayaks and things. Uh, just a little portable blower. Great. So, let's check this out though. So it looks like one has a, uh, a one-way valve in it. And then if I unscrew this, it's got a quick air release in it. So, all right, so here's a quick air release. You can see that, it just goes straight in. Here's that little one-way valve, right? So, make sure that's nice and tight. It's actually kind of loose. All right, then we gotta find the right fitting here to air this up, and there we go. So 
So let's talk about first impressions. The first thing I noticed uh, is the outer shell is extremely durable. The underneath side looks like it's going to be extremely durable as well. Uh, airing it up for the first time, I did have some trouble with the air valves. They wanted to slide around on the inside of this outer shell. And so I had to deflate it and uh, get on the inside there and make sure everything was in the right position. And there is Velcro that holds the inside in uh, alignment with the outside. So I just had to readjust that. Probably, you know, assembly and, and shipping and all that other stuff. It just moves it. Uh, but I did notice it on both sides. So the first thing you want to do before you air it up is just make sure everything's lined up. Otherwise, that valve is going to slip to the inside of the outer shell and you won't be able to get to it. Sorry about the sprinklers behind me. All right. Let's talk about this here. So this is the, uh, you know, your line apron or, or accessory apron, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've seen trays here, a whole bunch of different things. Um, so just initial putting this thing together. Looks like these, right? The angle goes towards the pontoon, right? So you just take them, make sure they're both facing in the same direction. Slides in there like that, All right? Velcro closure closes up. Stand up, take some weight off of this to do it. There we go. Right? Velcro here is going to strap onto these bags. Right, and there you go. Easy open, easy close. Uh, these bags, they look like they have a waterproof zipper on them. Uh, maybe just splash proof. All right, but there's an inside zipper here as well. You know, small things, uh, whatever you want to keep there. Drink holders on both sides, which is good. All right, fishing is a thirsty business. Some Velcro closures there. All right, let's look at this seat. Let's see how adjustable the seat is. So the seat adjustments are just right here. They're conveniently located. All right? And I can pull this. Man, that actually has some really good support. That's nice. I can sit in that in my yard. A couple cold ones practice some casting techniques. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Let's look, uh, let's take a look at the underside. I want to see how this thing's going to pack in because a lot of times uh, I'm not right next to my fishing spot where I'm going to be. So I might want to pack this thing in. So let, let's take a look at how easy that would be. All right, so on the back side here, you see we got a few D-rings. We got four of them. I think these are my shoulder straps. All right, so everything clips on easy enough. I can add some adjustments. Take a look at that there. All right, so that's actually pretty handy. It's also got a grab handle. It's also got a grab handle up here. All right, so I got a grab handle right there. Got two handles right here for maneuvering it, you know, around the water. This thing's pretty light. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably uh, 15 pounds. I think the package says somewhere around 14 pounds. Yeah, 14 pounds. So 6.3 kilograms. 
if you want to know how to convert that, just multiply it by 2.2. .2. All right, so. pack all this up in there cool so it looks like you can inflate this thing and take it with you wherever you want to go uh, shoulder straps are a little wide if you got a smaller you know chest uh, uh, shoulder width and things like that they might want to slip off you um, that can easily be fixed you know just a, a tie string that goes across to hold those things together uh, but just something to think about before you hit the trail for the first time All right, really quick. So I am packing this thing up, and I did notice, all right, it all fits inside this pocket, which is super awesome. And put that in there. All right. And it's got D-rings on the side. Some of these other ones I noticed whenever I was looking at them, uh, they didn't have D-rings on the side. Everything was all Velcro. So this is going to make attaching a, a you know fishing rod holder a whole lot easier and more secure so i think it's a heck of a buy under 200 dollars float tube uh, you're gonna have loads of fun it should last for years look at that it's got a nice little mesh storage bag on the back so when i'm loading everything up i can put my my flippers my fins and all that different stuff uh, it's got a nice mesh bag back here Put a backpack for a little ice chest um you know whatever uh whatever, whatever you see fit you can you can customize it the way you want so personally in the future i'm going to be adding some rod holders i'm going to be adding some uh maybe a tray or something to hold some extra poles um i'm a right-handed caster so most of that stuff's going to go on the left hand side but uh some future videos are coming down uh looking forward to it looking forward to it Got to get this thing out on the water though. I can't do any more yard fishing. You know, what are you gonna do? So, if you guys liked it, if you thought it was useful, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. All right guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, uh, I'll catch you on some more of these videos that are about this Cumberland uh, flow tube.